So today I have, I suppose it's still technically just opening things, so it's not all that different to my usual videos lately. But opposed to a Halloween haul, I thought I'd do a Supernova haul since I just got back from Supernova. I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit this because I'm tired as fuck. I might just pass out immediately after making this, so it might be a couple days late. We'll see. But here's everything I got at Supernova today. Actually, I'll start with what's what I'm wearing that I got from Supernova. So here we have the nice steampunk goggles. Actually, I have the card for the stall I got them from. They had so many nice things at this stall, but I just I didn't have the money to just spend money at that stall. Um, but this is the card, that's the back, and they just make lots of nice steampunk and gothic stuff. They have rings, so they've got like random stuff like Eye of Sauron, they've got it in different colours. Um, all these rings, you can adjust the size of them, so if it doesn't fit you make it tighter, make it wider, whatever. Which I thought was awesome because rings are always way too big for me, I've got skinny little fingers. And they had, the, they had these rings and necklaces that were pendants. Um, and they had little miniature raven skulls on them. I love them. I fell in love with them the second I saw them. But I just uh, didn't have the money to go back and get one after I was done getting everything else I wanted. So I just got these goggles. These goggles were only $30. And you can actually weld in them. They're actual welding goggles that have been made to look steampunk. They come in gold, silver and bronze. The second item I'm going to move on to. It's a, a hoard necklace. The first stall I bought anything from today, um, they had lots and lots of necklaces, just so many necklaces everywhere. And as, at first I looked at them I thought $25 for a necklace is just nuts. I'm not paying that much when I don't even know what it's made out of. I had a look at the special they had on offer and I realised if I bought two of them, which is $50, I could get another two free. So realistically it, was like, it worked out to about $12 or $13. I was paying per necklace, so I yeah I just got I got four, <laughs> and so the hoard one is one of the ones I bought. Let me dig them out, and this is one of the ones that I picked for free. The Holo Ichigo mask. I had three that I was picking from. I I could only pick two because I could only get two for free. So I picked this one, and there's another one I picked. The one I didn't get, it was um, Koro Sensei's head from Assassination Classroom. And I, I looked at it and I thought, I kind of really want that. And I thought about it and I'm like, but the, these other two, I just, I personally think they're a little bit cooler. I hope that's not dinging. It's not making the sound, so it probably won't come up in the recording. That's awesome, does my phone mute notifications when I'm recording? Oh, that's so cool. Hey, this one doesn't have a bag. This is the other one I bought. It's the umbrella symbol from Resident Evil. I've had um, a fair bit of Resident Evil jewellery and um, biohazardous zombie jewellery and stuff. I Actually, I lost some of it. it was some of my favourite stuff was some of the stuff I lost, so I was really happy with that purchase. I love Resident Evil. Um, I was walking around near the section where they've got lots of famous people that were voice actors and stuff. Um, I wasn't particularly interested due to I'd, I'd already checked it out before a couple of years ago and they generally don't usually have anyone I'm even interested in um, so I didn't really look at it too much. But we, were, we were walking back away from that section, there was like all these TVs and stuff showing trailers and they showed the trailer for the new Resident Evil movie that's coming out in January and I love Resident Evil. Um, so I, w I was stoked to find out that the final movie is happening in Resin of Resident Evil in January uh, because I love that stuff, I love Resident Evil and I can't wait to see the last movie. Um, to be honest, I think they should have stuck to the game plot a bit better, but oh well. And this is the other free one I picked. It's the Team Valor Pokemon Go dog tag. Yeah, you all say Pokemon Go's dead, but I play Pokemon Go every day. I do. I actually do. That wasn't a joke. That's how sad my life is. Me and my friend, we walk, we walked past this stall and um, at first we were sort of laughing at, at how um, the cheaper Pokemon plushies had like 
someone had really, really derpy faces. Like, it just looked hilarious. And we didn't think much of it at the time because we were both absolutely sleep deprived, hard, hardly slept at all the night before. And and we walked back past it later and we walked around to the other side where, where they sort of sell all the similar shit. And we were looking at them and I realised, oh, they're not like poorly made or fake Pokemon plushies, they're real fake Pokemon. They're Ditto. So I bought one of the Dittos. <laughs> I was I was gonna get a Flareon because at first I thought it was Eevee because it was it was brown and white, and then I I looked at the tag and the tags are all in Japanese. It's, you can't read a word of it. So I was looking at the tag and I'm looking at the picture trying to work out what it is and I'm looking at it and I'm like that's a Flareon. It's a Flareon on the tag, but it had the color scheme of an Eevee on the plushie. So I was just like nah. I'd, don't want that one. So I just, I got Jolteon. I don't normally like Jolteon to be honest. I don't know, I just, that plushie's cute, so I like it. This is the Ditto Jolteon. It's from behind. His tail's a bit bent. I like that. It's cute. It, that was only $10. There was this stall, it was like all like sewing stuff and like make your own costume sort of stuff. I had to stop myself from just grabbing handfuls, I've gone handfuls of these. They're iron on patches. I got Team Rocket, Raccoon City Police Department, Special Tactics and Response, Special Tactics and Rescue Squad. I'd Google it, but I'm recording this with my phone. By the way, I would have made a vlog of today, um, like fully recorded it properly so that you guys could actually see everything that was there because I can't bring it all home with me. But I thought, oh, I'm not very good at vlogging. I'm going to be running around being a weeaboo way too much because I haven't been for like nearly four years, three or four years I haven't been for. There's another supernova on in April next year and I'm going to that too. I'll buy a camera or something and I'll actually vlog that one if you want. But yeah, no, it just wasn't happening this time. I was being too much of a weeaboo. And so anyway, the last patch I got is the Umbrella Court one. I was almost going to get one of the Umbrella logo as well, but I thought I already got the necklace with it. I almost got Coca-Cola one just because I love Coca-Cola. The Vault Boy one, a Jack Skellington one. I almost bought lots of them because they were only $5 each and they're pretty big. Um, and some of them come in multiple sizes. I thought, no, I'll restrain myself. Um, because they said that they're going to be at the next one in April on the Gold Coast, so thought, well, I'll just, I'll go there again then and I'll get even more of them. And by the way, this is, I, I, I don't have a picture of what I was wearing, sorry, I'm horrible, but this is the hat from what I was wearing. And this is not a hat that I bought to go with the sand play of the Dragon Miku cosplay. This is, because, what it, okay, what, what I wore was sand play of the singing Dragon Miku, um, I will probably show a picture about now. And I, I lost my hat to go with this earlier this year, and so I had to make another one in order to wear my dress. And so I had to make this hat, um, reiterating a lot, probably so I'll literally sound like Leafy. It took a couple of days because I ran out of hot glue and I knew I needed it to finish it. It was, it was quite simple, but it also required some knowledge of what I was doing. It, it's, it is art, it is an art. The way that that stayed on my head too is I've got bobby pins um, hot glued to the bottom of it because my old one had a big clip on it and it just fell straight off like after the first use because I thought it'll it'll hold better if instead of making it like they did and putting a clip if instead I put bobby pins so I put bobby pins it would not stay in my hair it kept falling out. I was like walking around like this all day my arm was hurting it was driving me nuts because it's got to sit slightly to the left, which means it's got to clip only into the left side of my hair. So what it did is it fell down to the piggy tail and it just started pulling hair out. And it really hurt. <laughs> and so what, what I ended up doing was I just sat it on top because I had to get either side of the part with a bobby pin to get it to just stay in the one spot. And once I had it perfectly centered on top of my head, it didn't actually move at all. It just stayed there for the rest of the day. Okay, so they give you a lot of shit in this this bag that you get at the door. Cards for things, there's flyers for stuff, there's 
they give you a big magazine with lots of things. Oh, this has the this has the map of the convention center in it. This is where it was. This, this is that's actually it. Like there was so many stalls. See this here, these two, and then there's like all these little ones here. All those little ones are like four. So those those two rectangular ones, they're easily eight to ten. All of those ones there that I just pointed out, they were all pop figures. And then the, all these other stalls, a lot of them, they they did DC and Marvel stuff, so they had those pop figures. If, if it was a superhero stall, it had superhero figures. If it was an anime stall, it had anime figures. Something, uh, a free book. I got a free book for going. Uh, free zombie camp if I s subscribe to something that I don't fucking know. Um, Madman ad, anime lab ad, ad, ad that that. Some other cards. Give me lots of cards today. There was a stall that imports stuff from the Poke Center, which is where I got one of the next things I'm going to show you. So it, it imports stuff from the actual Japanese Poke Center and sells it at anime conventions in Australia. It was so hard for me to not buy so much stuff at this store too, because it was just all circular sunglasses. And um, they, were, they had headdresses too. I was going to buy a pink and white headdress and be a female social repose. <laughs> but they were just so expensive. Just I don't have the money for that. So I just got these. These were fifteen dollars. Uh, very nice. They're circular sunglasses, and they're not just sunglasses. They're normal glasses too. I thought that was awesome. I don't yet have a pair like that, so I thought that was really cool. Ooh, we just dropped them. Good on me. And now getting to the last thing. The other day I was is unrelated. The other day I was shopping and I got this. It's a Pokemon card tin that looks like a locker. It's missing a lock, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and tip everything out of it, because everything that's in it isn't staying in it. Now, um, this is 2015 one, new-ish. This is what I got from the stall that has stuff from the Pokemon Center. They, they also just sell like normal Pokemon cards um, in all different packs. And so I just got this as you know, just the Generations pack. So what I'm going to do is, I guess I'm going to do a Pokemon card opening. Leave a comment below, should I make a Pokemon channel like Max? No, I'm not big enough for that. Let's get straight to opening these bad boys. I want to see what's inside. I haven't, I haven't opened a pack of Pokemon cards in like a decade. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. It's been like at least half a decade. I bought a pack of the Diamond and Pearl cards when... They weren't, they weren't like new new, but they weren't exactly old or anything yet either. I hadn't seen them yet, so what we did was we bought a pack of cards each and I actually got a really good one. I did, I, I don't know, I didn't like the look of them, I missed the old cards, I thought it was gay as shit, so I just, I fell out of the Pokemon craze because of that. <laughs> but here I have the first pack of Pokemon cards I have bought since then and I am going to do for you a Max Mofo-esque Pokemon card opening thing. We got the psychic energy. We got. No, I can't see this. I'm gonna have to show them individually. Okay. We got Krabby. I like these. These are nice. A Geodude. Fire energy. Oh, hell yeah. It's shiny, nigga. Oh, can I say that? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to cut that out so I can get monetized. Shouldn't have used the N word. Um. Pikachu and uh, look at the shine. Oh, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the pack I bought. Oh, Jirachi. Yeah. Look at the shine on that bitch. And look at look at all the little. Does the camera pick that up? Yeah, it does. Look at all the little stars on it. They all shine. All of that shines. And there's like stars made out of dots on it. And, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, just a rapid dash. Floral crown. Yeah, we got a Clefable, Cloister, and that's that's it. Out, out of all those, I reckon these two are pretty dope. I'm happy with that for 10 bucks. It, it could have been a better pack, but that was a good pack. I just noticed something. They actually say when they're rare, I think, because it says RC, and that's it. it's got an out of. 
13 out of 32. Oh, that's got a little bow hanging there. Oh, and this one's got a little book and a bow hanging there. It's number 26 out of 32. Good pull. Good pull. I'll put that in my tin. I didn't have time to do this before because I'm actually running out of space to record but I have a question for you all and it stems from a little bit of a story of what happened today. Just as I left Supernova a little bit earlier than I thought I would surprisingly, I left the centre, the convention centre and as I'm walking out to the room where there's all the windows and I can see what's going on outside I notice it's raining fairly heavily. We get out to the car and we're trying to find a way out of the car park and one of the exits has actually been sealed because it's flooding. We get out of the only exit that's still open and able to be used and it's flooding out there too. We we took we took this turn um, and, and we drove back past it like a minute later and the road was closed off, it was going under. Then we were driving along, we were starting to get a little bit out of like the central area we'd been in. Um, we are so, sort of starting to get out to where there was less traffic, I guess you could say. Um, still Brisbane. And everyone suddenly started merging into our lane and we're like, what's going on here? And suddenly we noticed that there's cops up ahead parked on the road with all their lights flashing and everything. And the whole road was just going under. It was flooding everywhere in Brisbane today. A little side note real quick. It was really, really hot and sunny when I got there. I didn't expect it to be flooding when I came out of the convention centre. We got out of there just in time, we almost got stuck in Brisbane. <laughs> so, my question for you today is, how is the weather? Leave a comment, because the weather here, um, it's nice at the moment, but earlier when I was in Brisbane, it was flooding. That's all for today, um, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, bye. Yeah, that was really gay. I play Pokemon Go every day. Add that back.